Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about sublimation. Sublimation printing is you print something on transfer paper, and the ink dries on on the transfer paper, and becomes solid. Then you heat up that dye ink with a high temperature, and the dye ink directly from solid turn to a colored gas, and the gas going to bind with a T-shirt or like a mouse pad or something you want to make. Sublimation is a uh, really low cost. And uh, you probably already have everything you need, except uh, some major ink. After you get this ink, you can use it for your personal DIY or start a small business. For example, it's holiday season, so you might have order of、uh, Christmas ornaments and gifts. Check the color and depth of this sublimation piece. You can make it under a dollar. And those are double sided, so I sublimate other side with my kid playing hockey. Personalized piece is always a big hit and draws a big dollar on the market. Or you can just make it and give to your friends and family. I don't know what you can hang on your tree. My tree will not be boring. How about give your teammates or a coach、uh, team puzzle? You can break it up, play it, or you can just frame it and take one piece out and、uh, say you're the missing piece. For all your third cousins, I have this. You can sublimate your patterns or logos on a thin piece of、uh, blanks, and、uh, then go to Big Lots, get all the those pop sockets, and then you can glue them on the pop sockets. You get the personalized pop sockets. And you can make、uh, something like、uh, fabrics, T-shirts, mugs, pillowcases, quilts, almost anything under the sun. Excited? Let's get started. Let's go over what you need. You need a printer, of course.、Uh, you might already have、uh, uh, Epson Eco Tank printer. If you have it,、uh, I'll, I'll show you how to change the ink to sublimation ink.、Uh, if you don't have it, you can order order a new one and just fill with、uh, sublimation ink.、Uh, make sure it's Eco Tank, so you don't have to deal with cartridges. However, if you have one with cartridges, and、uh, you can follow my other video,、uh, showing you how to convert those into sublimation ink.、Uh, in this video, we're going to use a set of ink、uh, called the Easy Ink. It comes with、uh, four bottles of ink. Uh, black, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and also come with a accessory bag. For heat press,、uh, I like a clamshell because it saves space. The swing open one will、uh, require more space. And also, if you use other kind of heat press, make sure、uh, you, the heat can go over 410 degrees. And there are two sides of sublimation paper. You always print on the white side. And,、uh, Some sublimation printer doesn't have logos. It has a, like a, for example, blue or salmon color back, and that means do not print on those colored side. Print on the white side. Ah,、uh, we're gonna use、uh, this regular eco tank, uh, which is filled with Epson ink, and we're gonna convert it into sublimation. Here's Epson's、uh, ink refilling port, and、uh, this port, uh, only receives ink from、uh, bottles with a specially designed nozzles. Therefore, you may want to save your old Epson bottles and put sublimation ink into those bottles for refill. Easy Ink already have those、uh, special building nozzles, so it's easier for those automatic、uh, refilling machines. And also has、uh, syringes and needles,、uh, those available for refilling other kind of uh, uh, dye sublimation printers. So basically, you have one kit that can refill those kind of、uh, automatic、uh, eco tank type of printers, and also you have syringe and needles that you can refill the traditional cartridge type of printers. To use the ink, just remove the plastic cap, and、uh, here's a closer look of the special nozzle. So you lift the tap, and、uh, you put this、uh, ink upside down, and、uh, Stick on the printer and、uh, start refilling. Before doing that, we need to remove the old ink. Unplug your printer, push the printhead to your right, and then rotate this gear. Rotate the counterclockwise three times, which will free the printhead. Remove the screw and、uh, take off the protective cover. Now take out the accessory bag and、uh, put the gloves on. 
Those are called dampers. On the top of the damper, you're going to see a tab. Just push it in, and they can remove the damper. And it's very important that now you have to lift up all those tabs and open the refill port. And uh, take out the accessory bag from the ink package. And uh, now use the syringe in the accessory bag. You can start drawing ink out. And uh, you can either save it or just discard the, the ink. Once uh, all the ink is removed, you can take out our sublimation ink and uh, unscrew the clear top. And now we can put uh, the ink upside down and uh, make sure you match the color, okay? So you put it upside down and uh, stick on the printer. And uh, give a straight down push. You're gonna hear uh, the noise or like somebody drinking water. And then you can see the ink level in the black tank uh, arises. You can see how this automatic refill nozzle make it much easier. After you convert the printer, and uh, go to maintenance, and uh, clean print that, and uh, clean your print that three times. Now you have a sublimation printer. The next step is to get your color right. For most sublimations, uh, you don't need to pay attention to CMY, and uh, you only work on getting the black correct. There are two reasons doing this. One is the human eyes, we're looking for contrast. So if I have a bigger contrast, we feel the image is sharper. So when you have the black right correct, and you kind of ignore all the color if they let a little bit off. And the second re reason is the same why they are more tolerant. So they are not as picky as black. So if I get a black correct, and uh, all the other colors just fall into place. So we'll Google and find a CMYK picture. For fabrics, you can, uh, we're going to set a time be 45 seconds, and we're going to try three temperature levels. OK, for color and the thicker materials, we put the material underneath on the bottom, and we put a transfer paper on top of the material. We usually do a long and a low temperature for metal, and uh, for the soft materials, we normally do high temperature and short. You have to train yourself to be sensitive for black. So you can see the 385 actually is uh, perfect black. Uh, 395 start brown. Blacks are not equal. The bottom one is almost perfect black or rich black. Middle one is a poor black. And then this one is a brownish, darker brown. Once you can tell blacks apart, your world is going to change. And now, the one you just think is perfect black is not black anymore. OK, after picking the best temperature and time, and uh, we can try some socks. And uh, this is called the jig. So we can put the socks on the jig and uh, transfer. Massage the edge a little bit so we don't have lines between two uh, sides. Now we get uh, customized socks. Real men don't wear boring socks. Now we're going to make a metal business card. For the metal, you put the transfer paper on the bottom, and uh, that will help you to align with uh, the card you're going to press. Oh, the color looks good. So how good it is? And how black is, is this black? To check it, you have to, to do two experiments before you give to somebody or sell to somebody. One is indoors, and uh, you're going to see at a different angle, and uh, see how the color change according to angle. And this one look pretty good. Next thing to do is uh, bring the outside, look under the sun. There are many people get embarrassed when they sell somebody they think is black, and then the person wear the jacket or like a t-shirt outdoors, <laughs> and uh, it changes color. Uh, anyway, see, black, black, black. And uh, you're still not convinced? OK, we're going to whip off uh, the final test. How can it be richer and deeper than your standard. How can it be more black than black? <laughs> yeah, you are comparing different materials. Uh, so uh, there's limitation when you print on paper. Okay, beauty is beauty, no matter how you test it.